So Claudia, we're just getting ready to head out for afternoon hunt here and I always got to look at the guns when we're going to go out. You've long been a fan of the Benelli's have, and yeah. you're shooting the Super Black Eagle 3s. Yeah. And this is an inertia driven shotgun. Mm -hmm. And I think the big advantage, you know, there's always the, I've got the Beretta here, the A400, and it's a gas gun. Mm -hmm. And I think the big debate between shooters is always, what's better, inertia or gas? And, you know, I think they both have their place. And these things are like, used like shovels here, aren't they? Like, they they're are. real tools for you guys. Yeah. And they're dirty all the time. You've got always. different guys shooting them all the time. And that's the one great thing about the inertia guns is, I mean, they are a workhorse. They are. And, you know, if you don't keep them super clean, if you don't do a lot of maintenance on them, they still go bang they do the bolts actually cycled through the recoil so i mean the one downfall sometimes with these is if you're shooting really light target loads or things like that is you don't get enough recoil so right. not a big deal for you i mean right. you're shooting hunting loads here which is fine right. and that's where the gas guns come in and the gas guns have a gas port in them so when you fire you get that little blowback of gas that actually works the bolts so the great thing about those is they'll work with the lightest of loads right but they are a little more finicky so they do need to be cleaned more often right. they're both super reliable systems and yeah. you know the benelli's and the brettas i mean they are the cream of the crop they when are. it comes to auto loading shotguns but i think it's, it's important to pick the gun that you're going to be using and like these benelli's you've got they probably go through more shells in a season oh. than an average guy would do in a lifetime oh for sure like cases and cases and cases and i have some of them that have been in the fleet for seven or eight years now and the other important thing I, I think is shotgun fit and the one thing about these guns is i mean they typically get a much bigger forend on the front so i get a bigger right. hand when you pick them up you notice that like they're more front -heavy. they were a little bit so they swing especially when you're shooting clays and things like that they do swing a lot nicer so the other thing about the gas operated guns is the recoil is a little bit reduced because you're actually letting a little bit of gas off behind so if you're sitting in a goose blind or a duck blind or something like that, you're probably not going to notice it shooting a limited ducks. But if you do a lot of high volume shooting, so, you know, guys who are doing a lot of trap and things like that, it does become a bit of an issue. So, you know, the great thing that Brett has got is they've got this um, kickoff reduction system as well uh, in the stock, and it does make a big difference. You're not going to go wrong with either one. No. And what I would really suggest is getting one of each. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. 